So welcome back to Fenrir and today is an exciting one with my role model dog Sully and you guys don't often get to see a session of me just working with Sully, you only really get to see him if I'm using him for role model purposes with other dogs. So today we're going to have a little bit of fun and I want to show you a way that you can incorporate training, relationship, engagement, exercise, fun, distraction levels, it's uh, just a bit of a drill that you can do that works on so many things that ultimately is a really quick fix for tiring your dog out but then also has all those added benefits on and it's around a game of fetch. Um, Sully working line Labrador would genuinely would make a superb hunting lab. He could do field trials, retrieval trials, would be amazing at it. It's never been my interest, so we've only ever really done kind of basic fetch work. And today I want to kind of take his fetch work up a level and I want to show you and bring you along for that journey. Um, we're also, like I say, going to be working on tiring him out, giving him a bit of mental stimulation, um, which is the kind of secret source of tiring a dog out, not just physically, but mentally. If you can achieve that, they'll settle down much quicker. You'll solve separation anxiety, you'll solve destruction behaviors so much comes just from simply tiring your dog out and this is going to be a fun one so Sully will retrieve anything I've got just one of his little toys and it'll work for anything but you can see that when I get a toy out you get this laser focus from Sully he turns into a different dog but if you look at the difference in his demeanor from when you see him kind of happy-go-lucky to him being aware oh it's go time it's working time this is about to get real Sully has now turned on into working mode and we're about to have some fun with that so as always we get the toy and we look for that eye contact and to start with waiting for that lovely manners I want him to be excited and then he can go and fetch it and Sully will do this all day, every day. Now, this is a really quick way. Oh, my God, boy. Oh, my God, boy. Thank you, Sully. All the way in. Add a boy. Drop it. Good. Yes. Oh, God, boy. Thank you. Standard as it comes. You all know a game of fetch. Now, how is it that we can layer that up? And this is something that in the gun dog world, in the retrieval world, will be kind of bread and butter for those guys for me i focus on training perfect canine companions for companion animals now this is just to be a little bit of fun to give it again so again i'm going to ask for a nice sit yes getting that nice eye contact yes and i'm going to give him one more so now we've got him we're building that drive okay he understands it's go time it's work time drop it yes good good boy now, there's a few ways I'd like to layer that up. I'd like to get to a point, and this is going to be an ongoing series, where he goes out, not only does he retrieve it, and this is very kind of gundog-esque, but I'm not doing it for gundog work, it's more for mental stimulation and kind of our relationship of working together, is I don't want him just to come, drop it, and then wait with good manners. I want him to come into a heel position and wait in heel. That's kind of one thing that I want. I then want to be able to throw the treat What's it gone? Oh my gosh. And rather than him doing that, I want him to stay in that position until I tell him he can break and then he can go and fetch what it is. It's here, Sully. It's here. You're meant to be a clever dog. You're meant to be the clever dog. So again, super eager to work. And we're going to start off today with the not uh, doing a sit, stay and wait before he breaks to go. Now to do that, we're going to use my trusty slip lead. And again, Sully will be more than happy to have the slip lead on. We're going to lure him into his heel position. Heel. Yes, good. Stay. Yes. Now, this is where it gets tricky, and we need to use a little bit of lead pressure, a little bit of our communication for him to understand. What I don't want to happen, it's not the end of the world, but I don't want to throw it out and for him to break and apply a load of pressure, and it's just not nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start small and give him a really simple sully stay. Little bit of lead pressure. That was just enough to make him go, okay, I won't bother. Now he's looking at me for guidance and stay. See how the ears are pinned, foot's up, playful behavior, stay. Looking for eye contact, break. Yes, good boy. Oh, so clever, oh, so clever. Brilliant, yes, good boy. And you can have a treat for that. You can have a treat for that. So already you can see that we've only done a couple of retrievals. Now, normally for Sully, this would be easy and he'd do this all day. The reason you can see that he's already panting and is because it's the dopamine's going, the adrenaline rush is going, and he's having to work out what it is that I want from him. So again, let's go through that process, bringing him into a heel, sit, good, stay, 
good. Now the problem is, <laughs> it's difficult for me not to set him up for success because stay, when I'm talking to you guys, I talk with my hands. I also have hand signals, especially for the B-R-E-A-K command. So what I'm gonna try and do is go through this process. Sit, I want a perfect heel if we're doing it. Heel, sit, good, stay. When I go through the process, I'm not going to commentate on this one because I don't want to set him up to fail by me giving him accidental cues because we're discussing with each other. So again, Sully, stay. Excellent. So it's gone out. This time I needed no lead pressure. He's just responding to my stay command. Waiting for this eye contact. Good. Break. Now he can go and get it. Good boy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. All the way. Come on, Sully. You can do it. Is that lead in your face? Good boy. That'll do. That was excellent. So that time I left the lead on, just because, again, because I'm filming the video, it makes it a little bit more difficult. What I'm going to do this time is, again, we're going to swing him into a heel position. Heel. Sit. Good. Stay. Good boy. Yes. So this time, I'm not going to apply any lead pressure again, but I'm going to give him a very conscious S-T-A-Y command. And I'm going to make it very clear what I want from him. And the relief pressure will only go on if he feels like he's about to break. So Sully, stay. Good stay. Good stay. Waiting for eye contact. Good stay. Break. And off you can go. Go and find it. Good boy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Sully, drop. Good boy. Yes. Oh, good boy. Right, so now is where the level comes up again. Now this time what I want to do is for him to not have to do this with a slip lead. So we're going to work on this again. So Sully heel. Yeah, sit. Good. Good boy. Good boy, stay. So this time I'm going to just use one finger in his collar. No pressure, but just so that I can control and not set him up to fail. So Sully stay. Good stay. Waiting for eye contact. Good boy. Break. Yes. Now, again, in the gun dog world, you won't want that eye contact. This isn't what I'm doing because obviously he needs to be watching his bird and making sure that he knows where things are. What I want from this is an engagement and a tiring him out drill. And as you can already see, when Sully starts to lie down, he's already getting tired. So I would, I would argue, and Joe behind the camera will vouch for this, Sully just freestyle 45 minutes, 60 minutes we're what, five or 10 minutes in, and we're about at that level of tiredness, and that comes from mental stimulation. Now, what I'd really like to do, and again, because he is a very smart boy, Sully heel, sit, stay, good, good boy, is I would like to do this without having to put any hands on it. Now, again, the reason I can teach this to Sully so quickly is because first of all, we're using our basic commands that he already knows, which is why I preach about that you only need a handful of commands to keep your dog under control. So we've got heel, sit, stay. We're tying all of those things in. So we're practicing and repeating those things. And now I'm gonna use a stay command and then my B-E-R-A-K command. Now what I'd like to do is to achieve it without using anything whatsoever. But I've gotta be aware at some point, I need to not be holding on to him and hope that it's not gonna allow him to fail. You need to use your experience with that. Sully might be there now and it'll be cool if he is. If not, we'll just go back and practice and drill it. Again, this isn't for working purposes. This is just purely for fun and for exercise. So again, Sully, stay, stay, looking for eye contact, stay, good, break, absolutely perfect, that's exactly what I wanted to achieve from this session, and again you're going to see he's going to lie down now, the reason Sully does that is because his energy levels are dropping, for me this is a telltale sign that Sully is now tired, he's expelled that energy that I wanted to expel, in what would normally take 45 minutes because I added the kind of brain challenge element to it, has drastically de decreased the amount of time we needed to help him calm down, settle down, and bring that energy down. Now, is that a perfect retrieval? No, it's not. Does that matter to me? No, it doesn't, because I have my expectations from Sully as my canine companion, not as my gun dog. So like I say, for purely for fun and for engagement, which is why I'm not going to correct this, because it's not a life-threatening thing. I'd rather make it a fun, enjoyable experience for him. Over the coming sessions of this, 
I'm going to start to really encourage that retrieval to come all the way in. Then not only do I want it to come all the way in, but I want you to hop into that heel position on your own. Then I want you to offer that sit and stay before I then throw your toy, before I then allow you to break. So let's do it one more time. Let's see if we can end on a win. So what you want, buddy? So again, I've got his bone. Still very excitable, but we're definitely burning off this energy. So Sully heel. Yes, sit. Yes. We're going to go straight through it. Sully stay. Good, stay. Stay. Good, break. Excellent, good boy. So that was a perfect example. What I want to I finish on that one because I think there's a lot that we can talk about and I don't want to waffle for too long. You saw me use my verbal correction there. Sully was very much about to go. And the reason he didn't go was because I simply added in my sh and my click, which to Sully knows, whatever you're doing, don't do that thing. And he respected it. And it was communication. And that's, I wish there was a better, easier way to help people understand that. Because you can watch that and think, oh, that's pretty cool. That's amazing that Will can do these things the click the noise that's all irrelevant that doesn't matter that's not a trick that's the micro the macro picture is the reason that works is because sully trusts me as his loving leader we have an amazing relationship because of that and that allows us to communicate effortlessly it doesn't only allow me to communicate what i do want in terms of making it look really fun and heel sit stay break re all that fun stuff the more important thing for me is that it allows me to effortlessly communicate to him what I don't want. And with nothing more than a click and a sh, I managed to squash something that for a working, retrieving gun dog breed is incredibly difficult impulse control to not want to go out and retrieve that. Nothing more than a click and a verbal correction was enough to keep him in line. That stems from leadership and relationship. And that should be the things that you're focusing on. Leadership is everything. And most importantly, leadership is love.